Hey everyone, EG Braden's Jam here, and today I want to be talking to you guys about my three steps to record your Xbox One footage and get it onto your computer with no capture card. You do not need any capture card, computer based, USB based, this is solely just your Xbox and a computer that can access the internet. And all it needs is three easy steps. So step one is to boot up your game and just play until you get that clip that you want to record. Obviously, if you have your Kinect in, you can just use your Xbox Record That feature to activate the recording session and begin with that. It is quick and easy like that. If you do not, all you would need is just to do your the Xbox shortcut real quickly to activate it. So you see right here that I, was, that I say Xbox Record That, and now it's recording and I have that clip, basically. So once we have that, there's basically just a website that you can go to. There's a couple of them out there. I use this one in particular. I'll show you that I I enjoy because you can make playlists and it's easy to use. But uh, you can access and download all those recorded clips or screenshots at the same time. If you take a screenshot, you can download anyone's screenshot. It doesn't have to be yours. And you can edit it. You can include that in a picture. Customize it. So it's easy as that. But in order for that to work, we have to progress to step two. So step one, quite easy. Boot up game and just record your clip, either with your Kinect or with the controller shortcut. Now, step two, what we want to do is we want to make sure that your Xbox settings with your account and the console itself allow for that video to be shared so the website can access it. So what you're gonna to need to do is just go to your settings go to all settings, go down to the privacy and online safety. Now there's a couple of them in particular that we're looking for here. The, what I'll do is I'll show you them. So hit custom, go view, view details and customize so we're actually able to select it. Now there's gonna be lots of options. We just kind of scroll through here. We don't really need any of these. Others can see your game clicks and screenshots. That is important, set that to everybody. That allows the website to actually view it. Uh, others share your contact to social networks. I don't think you need that one, but it doesn't hurt anyways. What you do need is, <clears throat> ah, you can share game clips and screenshots. So make sure that is set to allow. If it's set to block, the website will not be able to see your content at all. And there is one more, there we go. You can share outside of Xbox Live. Once again, this allows for the video to be shared outside of the Xbox Live's network. So once you have all those set, we are now on to step three. Now, step three, it's very easy. So this is xboxdvr.com, this is the website I use. I do have an account in here and it allows me to create playlists and albums so I can easily sort clips between games or people for editing. So what you do is you just type in anybody's game or take you want. You can see my screenshots. I don't think I actually have, you know, I don't have any. And then you can view their game clips. So it's all of their game clips they have. So as you can see here, it's all of my game clips auto-generated and user-generated. You can filter. If you go back up the top, you can see the little filter there. You can do it. So here we actually have the two game clips that I recorded earlier. So as you can tell, it is 720p and it's at 30 frames per second, but it's there. It's viewable. You can share it on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit. You can upload it to your YouTube, save it to Dropbox. You can do a lot of different things with it. And you never needed a capture card. Now there's a couple options here, previous, next, screenshot, time stamp, time stamp, and the download. The download button is the one that we're concerned with. So all you have to do is you click download and you start downloading the file. It's downloaded as an MP4, which is a standard, easy to edit file type. And you just click it open, let me drag this over, and here you have the clip. I never used any capture card at all. All I needed was an Xbox on my computer, and here I have is the MP4 file of this game clip. And I can edit this now, I can import it into my Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, whatever software you're gonna to use to edit, easy as that. Thanks for watching. Leave your feedback in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.